All right, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about the planet Nibiru, but I'll leave that alone because uh, there's no sense in talking about it because it doesn't exist. But there are a lot of asteroids out there, and a lot of them do come really close to Earth. Um, you can check my calendar. You go to my webpage, quarkcsj.com, and I have a calendar on there, and I update all the comets and asteroids that come close to Earth. I've just downloaded the the latest on the asteroids that are out there, and here they are. So here's Earth, and uh, got a grid on here. That's the uh, plane of our solar system. And then these vertical lines show how far above or below these asteroids are above that plane. So here's an asteroid here. And then this line shows that it's actually above this part of the plane. And where's one that's below? Here's one that's below, but just barely below. Here's another one. So here's the asteroid, and it's below the plane here. So I'm going to put this into motion. And uh, you can see the asteroids whizzing by the Earth. That one looks like it's close, but it's not because it's actually below that part of the plane over there. This one, however, that one's passing pretty close, right in front of Earth, as Earth is going around the sun. So that's kind of scary. But, you know, we track them pretty good. And, uh... Nothing really to worry about right now, except for maybe a couple of them out there, like Apophis. Everybody knows about Apophis. It's going to come very close. There's one that passes really close. That was 2009 BS5. So check the calendar for that one. Uh, some of these asteroids, uh, if you're a really good astrophotographer, you can actually go out and uh, photograph them. That's one of my favorite things to do is to photograph those things uh, near Earth asteroids and comets. So there you go. No planet Nibiru, but there is a lot of other stuff out there.